Missouri's Attorney General has filed suit seeking to halt a mask mandate that took effect Monday in the St. Louis area amid a rise in COVID-19 cases that are burdening a growing number of hospitals around the state. The lawsuit by Attorney General Eric Schmidt argues the mandates are arbitrary and capricious because they require vaccinated individuals to wear masks, despite the CDC guidance that this is not necessary. It also questions mandating children to wear masks in school, noting they are less likely to become seriously ill. But COVID-19 cases with vaccinated individuals are on the rise, though hospitalizations of vaccinated Americans are rare. Nevertheless, the rise in infections is prompting communities at the least to require masking, and at the most, institute vaccine mandates. Savannah, Georgia, reimposed Monday a requirement that people wear masks in public, as has Los Angeles County and many municipalities coast to coast. New York City and the state of California announced plans Monday to mandate COVID-19 vaccines for many of their employees. And children make up a growing share of new coronavirus cases each week, yet they will have to wait even longer to get vaccinated. Meanwhile, the United States is again reporting more than 50,000 new cases daily on a rolling seven-day average as the Delta variant sweeps around the country. The United States last hit that mark April 30, when cases were falling as vaccines took hold of the pandemic. Even with most Americans at least partially vaccinated, the country is already reporting cases at more than three-quarters of the pace of the worst week in summer 2020, when about 67,000 cases per day were reported. The Rochester, Minnesota-based Mayo Clinic is requiring all of its employees to be fully vaccinated for COVID-19 by September 17, it announced Monday. The Department of Veterans Affairs also announced Monday that it will require its health care professionals to be vaccinated within the next two months as coronavirus infections have more than doubled in the past month at its medical facilities. Hawaii's Department of Health is recommending that masks be used in all indoor settings at schools and that social distancing be observed in classrooms when possible. Masks are recommended outdoors when there is crowding or prolonged close contact. Australia's second most populous city is ending its fifth pandemic lockdown Tuesday as the Victoria state government declares it has beaten an outbreak of the highly contagious coronavirus Delta variant for a second time. The Departments of Health, Justice, Education and Labor released guidance explaining that long COVID can be a disability under various federal civil rights laws. Keep refreshing this page for the latest news. Want more? Sign up for USA Today's Coronavirus Watch newsletter to receive updates directly to your inbox and join our Facebook group.